Hello there, I'm Scott Hewitt, and in this PC Answers tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a very fast and streamlined web album using your Google Mail account and a plugin called GPhotoSpace. Now, GPhotoSpace is available from uh, gphotospace.com. It's a plugin for um, Firefox version 3, and um, you need to just click on this download link on the main page here. Now, you'll be um, confronted by Windows or Mac, and you want Windows, and uh, Firefox should prevent you from, uh, from installing it right away because you're not, you're not using the Firefox website, and it's a Firefox extension. But we trust it, so we'll click Allow, and then we're going to install it. Uh, it, it doesn't take very long, it's only 400 and odd K, um, and as you can see, it just did pretty much instantly. Uh, so now you want to restart Firefox using the button, and when it restarts, it'll open up a, uh, as you can see now, it says that Photo Space is there, so you can close your add-on panel, and it's loaded up the, the page from before. Now, say if you were to go to your home page, and, and we'll just close this down, come, come back into Flash, into, into Firefox, as you can see, um, there's there's no there's no buttons around etc added. I mean there there is right down at the bottom here, I believe, a G Photo Space button. Um but if you if you didn't spy that down there, the, the only other way to get to it is through tools, G Photo Space, like so. And it'll open up a, a separate uh page which is your G Photo Space page. Now if you've got a Google Mail account, it should automatically enter your details in. Um if not, enter your Google Mail account. If you haven't got a Google Mail account, you'll need to register down here, which is sign up for, for Google Mail, or Gmail, as it's called in the States. So now if we click sign in, it'll sign us into to G Photo Space. And um, as you can see here, we've, we've got no albums. We've got no albums that's been sent to us, and we've sent no albums. Um, now... I, as you can see here, I'm, I'm just browsing through the different sections, just like with uh, Google Mail. It's very, very similar. It's, it's, it's designed to, to be Google Mail user friendly in a, in a way, you know, people who, who use it on a regular basis. So to make a new album, click on Create New Album. And um, I'm going to do an album for, for my wedding, which was in 2007. Um, I have promised my groomsmen I'd send them some um, photos and never have. Well, now it's going to change. So, um, I'm going to give it a name, wedding, wedding album, and then I'm going to put in the description Scott and Hell 2007. There we go. And, uh, as you can see, this is the description. It'll appear as well when, when you've made it. And now we need to add the photos to our, uh, album. Now here I've I've already selected the folder previously, but um, you, you you basically are confronted with a browser window. You click on your I've got mine on my desktop, so click desktop, go to the wedding, and uh, here you can see all the the images I have. Now I've got about sixty odd images here, so I'm going to select I don't know how many that is, and click open. Um and it gives me a warning saying sixty five files selected, the album may only connect um, contain fifty. Um, so in other words, if you've got more than 50 files or 50 photos, you either need to do album part one and part two, or you need to split it into sections of the day. Like for the wedding, I could do the ceremony and the, uh, the party for afterwards, the reception. But uh, I'm just going to add um, around about 50 or so of these images. Um, I'll just select about that many. I think that's around about 50. And uh, I just clicked add, and here we go. It has a think, and uh, we didn't pause this video at all. It's it's it was that fast. It's, it's loaded them all up really quickly, and uh, the reason why it, it's loaded them up is it, it's it's made it so that the, the each image it's been resized to no more than 512 pixels high. I mean, this is the it's not a good thing if you're wanting you know high res images to send to friends for them to edit etc or to print out but for an online web album they're ideal and they're, they're, they make a nice you know lean little uh, email to send out to people as well you know not not taking much of their inbox up etc so uh, you can you can see here we've got all the uh, 
photos, etc. They're all they're all resized and put in. And we're just going to click save album now. And it, it's now going to save this album to your Gmail account. Um, this this might take a little while, but uh, it won't, won't take that long. And uh, once that's complete, my albums will say you've got one. You've got you've got one. You know, made here. It'll turn to a one. And we can then view each one of our images separately. And I'll show you about the size issue, etc. And uh, you'll get a good idea. There we go. Um, ah, there's dead on 50 photos in there. So if I go to album inbox, as you can see, there's none sent to me. But if I go to my albums, I've got my wedding album with 50 photos in, created today. So now if I click on this, I come into the, the album itself, and I can select a photo. And as you can see, it's, the, the images are not that tall. They're 512 pixels high, and the, the width is... Uh, Un, un, undetermined and you you can uh, you can also like skip across as well images so you can you can click next etc and browse them like that um and the the best thing of um the the the, the g photo space albums is if you check them here you can share them with uh, other people now if they have g photo space installed and a Google Mail account, uh, then they can they can just view them in the same window that you are here, just like this. Um, and you can also send this person an invite to download G Photo Space, so then they can they can view them just how you've um, put them together. Um, alternatively, if you send it to an account which doesn't um, have um, it isn't Gmail account or doesn't have G Photo Space, it doesn't matter. It attaches uh, the images as a um it, it attaches them as attachments and uh they're very small they're usually about 40k maximum really um so you can make really lean emails so i'm i'm going to i'm going to make another album i'm not going to make put too many in here um so let's let's make a really quick one we'll call it album 2 add photos and i'm just going to select a couple of these uh, that one oh and now to select multiple ones, you can you can just you know drag down, or you can hold the control and and just select different images like so, um, and then you can uh, when you're happy. I'm just going to put three in here. You just click open, and it'll put them all together. And now just click save album again, and it's going to save another and here we go album two now, now this is a, a more sizable album this is the kind of thing I'd be sending to my my groomsmen so I'm just gonna check the uh, album if, if I click share I can then email it to anybody I want um, so I just type in their email address so I'm just gonna send it to myself here um, to yeah, I mean, no, Scott at googlemail.com and then I just click share album now and there we have it um, now, when you log out and re-log in, you should find that in the album inbox, I should have album two as well because I've sent it to myself. Um, and there we go. We've, we've, we've shared it with, with myself in this case. But you can send it to anybody you want, and they'll just come up as attachments if, if they don't have the um, G Photo Space plugin. And it's a really nice and lean way to, to just share photos without uh, without having to go through lengthy upload processes or to to be met with uh, limits on on the number of images you can put up there because you're only limited by the size of your Google Mail inbox which is usually about 7 gig